Hello friends and learners, I welcome you in this video and today we are going to discuss factors affecting protein binding part 3. Part 1 and 2 we have already covered. Now what has been read in those videos and for that please subscribe the channel and also like comment. I also request you to view the complete video in order to understand the concepts because this video is somewhat related to the previous videos which have been already uploaded in the channel. Now come to factors related to protein binding. To understand or to remember what are the factors related, this is the diagram which shows a patient is taking drug, D means drug, the drug has gone inside the proteins which are present in the blood, the drug has formed complex. Now here is the complex. So three things we have seen. Drug, factor related to drug, protein, factors related to protein, complex, factors which affect this complex and who is taking this drug, patient is taking drugs. So means factors related to the patient. So that is all relating, factor related to drug, factor related to protein, factor related to patient and drug interaction which is related to the complex formation which has been formed by the interaction of drug with the protein. Now this video is very important for the students who are preparing for the competitive exams like GPAT, NIPER, BITSET, NAPLEX and pharmacist examinations because often a question has been asked from this portion especially drug interaction part. Apart from that the students who are preparing for university examination they are able to write the long answer because the question can be asked discuss or explain the different factors affect the protein binding. So let us start without any delay. Factors related to the drug, physical chemical properties. Now before that, again one basic thing which I want to share with you. See this is the basic figure which everyone knows. This is plasma concentration time graph. This is concentration and this is time. Only the drug which is present between this level and this level it is desired. And in that also only the drug which is present in free form, it is only available for interacting with the receptor and showing the pharmacological response. It means any of the factor which can increase or decrease the free drug concentration, it will definitely affect the pharmacokinetics and dynamics of drug. So does it happen with protein binding also? Yes, it happens. Because in the previous video we have studied once the drug has been binded with the protein, it is not available to interact with the receptor. Why? Because the drug and protein, it is bounded my dear. How it will interact with the receptor? It will interact with the receptor only when it is freed from here. So if protein binding is more, free drug will be less. Protein binding is less, free drug will be more. So this is how it will affect and this will correlate in these factors affecting protein binding. So first factor which we were discussing was physiochemical properties. Now does physiochemical properties affect what kind of physical properties? If the drug is acidic, if the drug is basic, if the drug is lipophilic, definitely it affects how? Let us justify. First we will say high lipophilicity of drug or if the drug is highly lipophilic, what will happen? It has tendency to store in adipose tissues because it has high lipid content and definitely if the drug is lipophilic it will go and dissolve it will store in lipid only for example thiopentone next example acidic drug acid drug they have tendency to bind to albumin or in full form we can say human serum albumin for example sulfonamides so overall we can say that acid drug has binding to Human serum albumin. Similarly, basic drugs they have tendency to bind to AAG means alpha 1 acid glycoprotein, for example, imipramine. So, not as a basic rule, but generally we can say that if the drug is acidic, it will bind to human serum albumin. And this thing we have already covered in previous video also. So, same thing has been repeated, and we have justified how the physical properties of the drug effect. Next, similarly, Next factor, concentration of drug in the body. Now, does it affect? 
if we increase the concentration protein binding will be more or what will happen so let us see these are the factors again we have seen two proteins two main proteins which are responsible for protein binding first is human serum albumin the concentration of i am saying is concentration of drug in the body human serum if we talk about the concentration in the body it is large it is ample that much ample that drug cannot saturate the human serum albumin at therapeutic concentration similarly if we talk about the alpha 1 acid glycoprotein and if we compare with the human serum albumin the concentration is less so that saturation can occur for example in case of lidocaine and if the dose of lidocaine is increased free drug concentration will increase and effect will also higher third affinity for protein or a particular component in the body many drugs they have property or a definite characteristic that they will go and deposit at a particular area in the body for example many drugs they deposit in the skin many drugs they go and deposit in the eyes because of the affinity so this is that factor only we are talking about example is the dioxin it is the drug which is used for cardiac congestive heart attack failure it has affinity for cardiac muscle similarly one more example iofenoxic acid which is a radio opaque contrast media it has that much affinity for the proteins that it has tf of 2.5 years next example is chloroquine it has characteristic of depositing in the eyes and for the same property it can be used for the detection of eye melanomas for the details of this please go through the video related to the chloroquine which has been already uploaded on the channel so these were the factor related to the drug now factors related to the protein first physiological properties see the different proteins with the drug bind human serum albumin alpha one acid glycoprotein lipoproteins means lipoproteins we are talking about and definitely if lipoprotein is there lipophilic drug will bind so this we have seen so lipoproteins or the adipose tissues they have increased lipid content or high lipid content and therefore they bind to lipophilic drugs next concentration of protein in the body out of all the proteins we are talking about highest binding occurs with albumin means albumin is the main protein with which the majority of drug bonds and therefore if any condition which results in decrease or increase in concentration of albumin definitely it will affect the protein binding and it will affect the action why we have just seen the filter concentration it will also affect it so highest protein binding it occurs with albumin therefore if albumin is more or less for example in case of disease altered binding will be observed for example in case of hypoalbuminemia in which concentration of albumin is less third factor related to protein is number of binding sites now in previous video we have seen suppose just to explain this is protein and albumin it has more than one binding site suppose this is one binding site this is second this is third binding site it means a protein has more than one binding site and a drug can bind more than one binding site also the site at which major portion is responsible for binding it is called as primary site and other site is termed as secondary site so not only primary and secondary site there are many drugs which bind to more than two sites for example in case of indomethacin which binds to three sites so why this binding occurring why it is taking place because there are more than one binding sites and of and obviously if binding sites are more chances of binding are also more so that is only it is written albumin it has large number of binding sites and therefore it has high capacity of binding with the drugs many drugs bind to more than one site for example flurbiprofen ketoprofen and this what we were talking about now third factor factors related to patient 
Now, factor related to patient in which we will see first age. Now, how age affects? See, to justify this, we will take two examples the child which is newborn and elderly patient. First, we will see neonate. We know the child, newborn child, hardly anything has been properly developed. Therefore, enzyme content will be less. Therefore, human serum albumin will also less. Therefore, it is already expected. We can easily remember this. We can easily analyze human serum albumin will also be less. Binding will be less. Therefore, there will be increased predator concentration which binds to human serum albumin. For example, phenytoin. Now, if we talk about the elderly patient, they have low human serum albumin. Therefore, there will be increased predator concentration which bind to human serum albumin. But interestingly, in elderly patient, there is increased in alpha-1 acid glycoprotein. And therefore, the drugs, drugs, basic drugs, which bind to human serum albumin, they have decreased free drug concentration. So this is how the age affects the protein binding. Now, second factor related to patient is individual variation intersubject variation or body makeup although this is a factor but is not significant and we are not dealing with it third factor is disease or disease condition now how it disease affects if disease is there if liver is not functioning properly decrease enzyme content decrease enzyme content means decrease binding decrease binding means increase filter concentration increase filter concentration means more action. So let us see one by one. If you talk about disease, first we have seen renal failure that is responsible for uremia, and in that there is decreased human serum albumin and decreased binding of acid drugs. Why decreased binding of acid drugs? We have seen acid drugs they bind to human serum albumin. Second factor is hepatic failure or liver failure. Again, because liver is not functioning properly. Decrease synthesis of albumin or human serum albumin and decrease binding of acidic drugs. Just now we have seen. Next, third disease inflammatory conditions like trauma, like infection, like burn. In this inflammatory conditions, there is increase in alpha 1 acid glycoprotein and there is increased binding of basic drugs. Why? Because basic drugs bind to alpha 1 acid glycoprotein and therefore there will be decrease in free drug concentration of the drugs which bind to alpha 1 acid glycoprotein. So these were the factors related to drug, protein and patient. Now the factor related to the drug interaction. This factor will be dealing in the next part. And for that, when it will be released, please subscribe the channel and also don't forget to press bell icon. So as soon as the video is released, you will get the prior notification. So please keep in touch, keep studying, best ever.